Battle styles, baby. Yeah, we got the freaking Elite Trainer box, man. I mentioned in a video a while back that I had done a pre-order for another wave of Elite Trainer boxes and it would take a long time to get here as it was actually delayed again. This one actually isn't it, so we're gonna have another one eventually. I couldn't pick what color I wanted. I prefer Rapid Strike, but for both of them I couldn't choose. So we just have to hope that the other one we get is also a Rapid Strike. But, you know, at least we can celebrate that we have this one and hopefully the next one, whenever that is. I, guys, I honestly want to expect it for at least the next month. Um, if you're looking for another Battle Styles Elite Trainer box, it's going to be at least another month till that one shows up. So I do apologize. But this is my first one of these and I haven't done an Elite Trainer box in a long while. So I am stoked and I got this thing really close to retail value as well on eBay of all places. So we're going to slide this baby out of here. And we have, I, I know I always talk about this, but I love it. You get the player's guide and most people don't care about these. Man, do I love them because you actually have, you know, all the cards laid out here. Yes. Yeah, so you can look online at like Poke Lector or whatever, but it's something about having it physically. It's probably cause I'm a game collector as well. Uh, I have a rather large game collection. It's another big hobby of mine. Um, and something about just having stuff like this makes me really happy and I don't know. I'm rambling. And then we have the box itself, which I gotta say, good job on the highlights there. This is actually a very nice looking box. I don't show too well on camera, but this is a, yeah, it's a much darker red here than around it. This is more of like an orange two red. Uh, on camera, it doesn't show the best. Maybe it will when it's blown up. Um, but it's a very darker red and I, I, th I don't know. I think it stands out pretty well. Again, I'm just rambling. I know I, I'm not, I'm not trying to drag up my videos. You have the card game rules. Woo. I wonder what packs comes in a battle styles elite trainer box. I have no clue. Of course we have our little tokens there. We have our dice, which has, you know, uh, the little Battle Styles emblem on there, which is pretty neat. Of course, we have our dividers, which look pretty cool, and I actually do make active use of my dividers, and I'm not really running low, but I don't mind getting more. We have our energy here. We have the code card. Normally, I only give you half of it at part of the video, the other half later, but I'm gonna be nice this time around and say, there you go, take it. There is the packs that, well, not the packs, the sleeves that come with this. Any good pulls we get from this video will be going in here. And let's start opening packs. You know what? First pack that I grab, we're going to save it. We're going to put you over here with a little magic card. All right. Plus your rapid strike, my favorite version. So we're saving you for last. It also felt kind of damaged on the side. Like it wasn't packed the best. Like it might've taken some damage during shipping. So maybe if we get a good pull, it won't matter because it'll lose all of its value anyways. There's your code card. We do one, two, three to the front, get rid of our fire energy, rather fitting. We have Bruno, uh, Mustard, and more Pico, more Pekka as all of our uncommons. Timber being useful, Galarian Slowpoke, Corphus Sandlet, Roly Coley. We have our reverse blip bug. And on the end, oh, okay, I kind of screwed that whole thing up. We got a Minshall. I seem to get this guy a lot. Uh, but okay. Next pack, we have our Tartar. Maybe we can get the alternate artwork Tartar. I want it mine. God, literally like every video I've done recently, I have been unable to preserve the pack art. It's just not going to work out for me. There's a code card. We got one, two, three to the front. There is the energy. And we have a Buffalant, a Crawdont, a Grum Piggy, a Shrubby, Pachirichu, Chimeco, Honedge. Beautiful looking little horsey there. We have our Glam Meow as a reverse. And on the end, okay, there we go, Corvin Knight V. I am actually currently shiny hunting this boy. Uh, if this video uh, comes out and I have already caught it, I, I will make sure to let you guys know. Aww. I don't mind getting him. I don't think his shiny actually looks that great, if I'm being honest with you guys. It's just my favorite like bird Pokemon that we've had in a while. Cause you know, every generation has that like main bird line and I don't know, I really like Corviknight. I don't know if I'd consider it one of my favorites, but it's really up there. So that's cool. Next pack, we have one of my least favorite starters. I know I got a lot of crap for that, especially cause like, I'm the ping one guy, man. I like me some pingins, but you know, we, we, we get stuck with a ping one that I don't care for. It's kind of odd. We have three to the front, get rid of our steel energy. We have an urn of vitality, a Schweppa. Glycicor, Shiroby, whoops, Horsey, Lick Tongue, I still like the artwork on that one as well. Electabuzz, Esper, 
Ooh, okay, we got a Rapid Strike as a reverse. It's, I really like getting when you have like a Rapid Strike with a water card as a reverse, just all of that blue, or getting a single strike with like a fire as a reverse. Like, I don't know, it just makes me a happy boy. And on the end, we have a Licky Licky. Well, okay. All right, so we have another Rapid Strike boin here. Please, like one of you, one of you, one of you open it, look at this. Look, focus camera, come on you piece of crap. I keep splitting them right there. If you guys have a trick for opening these without destroying them, let me know. Because like, I don't know why. I might have shown that code card to you guys. If I have, I will blur it. Uh, but if you guys have a way to open it and actually, you know, have a high rate of, pres of, of preserving them, let me know. Because like, my strategy clearly isn't working. Do blade pig knight. We have a rapid strike squirrel, squirrel, squirrel of swirls. Um, it's a very squirrely, well, swirly squirrel. God, my tongue is not working. So yeah, if you guys have been watching the Pack of the Day videos, uh, please let me know if you like them or not. They've been doing very well, but that's mostly because they get put on the short shelf. We have, oh my god. Rapid Strike Style Mustard. I don't think I've ever heard mustard being described as Rapid Strike Style. Is it just like blue mustard that's like really liquidy? So it's like very rapid, it just flows out onto whatever you're putting it on. I don't really care for mustard anyways, but you know, I like this mustard. This mustard's pretty cool. Um, got that joke on for way too long. That is sick, man. Yeah, I'm putting you in a sleeve right now. So yeah, I completely lost track of what I was saying about the pack of the day stuff. Anyways, uh, for those of you wondering, no, I'm not going to be doing it forever. I know some of you are like, oh no, because you like the pack of the day thing. Well, I'm making you sound like a baby. I, I like the fact that you like it. Um, but it is kind of taxing. And I think it really muddies up the channel a little bit, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it, it's decent for growth. And uh, I, I actually do enjoy doing it, but eventually it is gonna go away. And my current plan is when it does go away, I wanna end it with like some bigger thing and maybe do a compilation. So what I might actually do is, as much as it hurts me to do it, eventually, not right away, remove all the pack of the day videos and put them all into a giant compilation. So you're going to see like a hundred or something packs being opened all in one video. But there is our mustard in his little hard sleeve. Look at that beautiful boy. And of course, in a rapid strike sleeve. Sing, sing, single strikes. Single. There is our Empoleon pack. The pack feels kind of airy. It's like a bag of chips. Look at that. Like uh, there's a lot of slack in this one. Like, I know Pokemon Company is ramping up production right now, but like, come on, gotta be careful with your quality assurance here. Actually, don't be careful with it. I want more misprinted cards because those are cool. Um, the only misprinted cards I have, I have two cards that are miscrimped and there's actually like, you know, lines going across the top of them. Like, you know, like textured because they crimped the pack onto the card. There's a Bufflint, a Level Ball, Schweppa, Spur, Shinx, Blippy Boy, Pondered Boy, Minky Boy, Morpico, Morpeco as a reverse. And, okay, give a Cheerim as a hollow. Don't believe I have you yet, so I'll take it. And, of course, it always goes in a sleeve, being a hollow, and me being someone with too many sleeves. Next pack, we're starting to reach the end here. Again, this pack also feels kind of fluffy. These cards aren't fake, I promise you. I think it would be a little hard for a company to fake an entire Elite Trainer box. Like, all of the things that come in it, the box itself, like... If you were, if a company's able to fake it and get it to this good of a degree, I'll probably just quit collecting Pokemon cards at that point, because good god. So there is a Dewblade Cheryl Rapid Strike Energy, which of course we have as a reverse from another video recently. Uh, we have a Blip Bug, a Punnered Boy, Minky Boy, we have a Level Ball as a reverse. And drop us off, we have a Standard Bolton. Still not a terrible Pokemon, but not a hollow. I only like shiny things. Give me shiny things, Rapid Strike. Actually, I didn't really, really try on that one, but it still depresses me that I have... I don't think I've gotten a single pack preserved from this entire thing. Like... I feel like their pack sealing teams are just like, you know, their machine is just like working too much overtime. Uh, experience here, kind of neat. Uh, Fomantis, Rumor Raid, look at that beautiful depressed boy. We have a Punyard, Colossal, hell yeah, as a reverse. And on the end, Licky Licky again. Not gonna lie, that mustard was an awesome pull, but we are still not getting great luck. So, this last pack, which I also failed to preserve, is going to be... 
our big winner here, all right? Mustard was cool. Don't mind mustard. But this is going to be the one that has an alternate artwork in there, right? I'm calling it now. And if it actually happens, I'm going to get all these comments saying that it's a fake video. <laughs> Cacturn, Mankey, Galarian, Slowpoke, Fomantis, Rumor Raid, Beautiful Cubone again. We have a Pachuritsu, one of my favorites there as a reverse. I only really like it because I love its shiny form. And our final card of the video. Okay. Not an alternate artwork or anything, but a very... Very cool looking edgy slash. I love this, the straight, very well done, straight down lines. Of course, you guys probably don't see it as well because you're seeing the shine ripple ac across, not necessarily the lines themselves. Um, yeah, my camera isn't like a micro lens. I can't really get that close with it. But I assure you, the lines are just perfect straight down. I actually really do like it. It makes it look very like futuristic, you know, like space agey kind of, you know, lighting going on here. That's really cool. And of course, it is also going in a sleeve, which is just going to make the shine look much worse. Forgot to hard sleeve my Corviknight. All right, for the end of video recap, everything that was a reverse or better, we have Glamiao, Octillery, the Toll Jammer, Morpico, Level Ball, Colossal, Blipbug, Pachiritsu. For our hollows, we had the Cherum, which is kind of neat, not really my ideal hollow. We have the AG Slash, which I would say is 100% my ideal hollow. We have our Corviknight V, which I just threw in its hard sleeve. And we have our Rapid Strike Style Mustard, which is just sick. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe down below. My channel is doing really well right now. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for the support. And hopefully, I will see all of you tomorrow.